Hey y'all and welcome back to day eight of my 12 days of Christmas series. Today we are going to be working on a vinyl and foil leopard Christmas tree tumbler. I am working on a 20 ounce straight from the tumbler supply store and I am using this adorable leopard Christmas tree vinyl from AB Designs Co. I'm going to start with trimming down this vinyl so I can apply it to the tumbler. I'm just going to make a large chunk a large strip and then I'm going to apply it to the tumbler using the hinge method and I got smart I didn't apply any painters tape today so I wouldn't forget and leave it when I did my wrap After I got that vinyl applied, I took my double-sided tape and I'm going to add a strip to the top and the bottom of the leopard trees and we are going to apply some leopard print foil. Applying foil to double-sided tape has become my new favorite thing. It makes it almost flawless to apply foils and it just is so easy to add a custom border or anything like that. So I am using this foil from Artistic Painting Studio and I think it's the small leopard print is what it's called. And I just took off that backing or the adhesive cover on that double-sided tape and then I just put... I laid down the foil and then I put a little pressure rubbing it in and then peeled it off and it was perfect coverage. I did that to the top and the bottom strip and then after that we're going to go in and glitter the remaining exposed part of the tumbler. Now normally what I do when I paint and glitter an exposed area like this where I've already laid down the vinyl. I tape it off with some painter's tape just to ensure that we don't get any glue or paint on there, but I didn't want to apply any painter's tape to the foil part. I was afraid it would rip it up. So I was just super careful when I went in with my paintbrush. I just went really slow and tried not to get anything on that foil and I just took a little bit of my crystallite glitter glue and mixed it with a little bit of black paint and just applied it very carefully and then we are going to go in with this glitter from Diamonds and Dust called Formal and it is a beautiful black glitter. It has a little bit of like a silver and different color shift in it I guess or just some added sparkle but it looks beautiful under epoxy as well. I know black is such a hard color to really capture sparkle after it's epoxy. So I applied that to the top and the bottom and then I took a little paintbrush and brushed off any glitter that may have gotten onto the vinyl or the foil area and then I set that aside to let the glitter glue dry and then when it was dry I took it outside and sprayed two really good coats of clear glossy spray paint. I just used the Rust-Oleum brand and then I let that dry and then I gave it two coats of epoxy. After that, I was trying to decide what color. I really wanted to do red with the kind of like an accent color and I didn't have any metallic red 
vinyl that I could use, but I didn't want to use foil either. So I had this beautiful red glitter vinyl. I used it the other day in one of my tutorials and I only had a little bit left. So I decided why not? Let's go in. It's kind of a deeper, darker red. And I really like that instead of being a bright like cherry red color, I thought it really went well together. So I just outlined both sides of the foil strip and then I gave each one of those on the outside a really tiny strip to accent and just kind of add a little bit more to that design element. Funny story though I got this far and then I was like no I think I'm gonna do a brighter red and I started to peel off the vinyl and this red vinyl did not want to come off. It was coming off in little chunks. So I said, never mind. I guess it was meant to be its stain. So I moved forward and I really do like the way it came out because it, after we apply the foils, it really offsets it. So I'm glad it didn't blend in too much. So after we applied the vinyl strips, then we are going to add this Farm Fresh Christmas tree decal. I just found this. I believe in my Silhouette Studio software, and I was going to cut it out of red, but I thought the red would just be too dark, so I wanted to go with the white just to kind of contrast because of the black that it would really stand out this way. So I applied that, and then we're going to go in and add some foils, uh, some distressy, grungy foil, which we all know is my favorite. This time to apply the foil glue from Artistic Painting Studio, I just took a gloved finger and brushed it on, smudged it on, just in random places. Like I said, y'all know this is my favorite way to apply foils. And I just have no rhyme or reason where I'm applying it, just different spots. And then I'm going to go in with three different colors of foil. I am using the same leopard foil from the Stripe and then a bright metallic red, and then also this kind of muted gold, just to give some contrast against the gold that is already in the leopard foil and the pattern on the vinyl. After the foil glue was dry and ready to apply, I just took my foils and Again, no rhyme or reason. I added a little bit of the gold and then I added a little bit of the red and then in the same spot, I added a little bit of the leopard. I really love that grungy mixed pattern texture look. So I the leopard foil against the foil glue, it doesn't, it's not like a very bright release not bright I don't know like it doesn't release as well as it does on the double-sided tape so I just continued in random spots adding the different colors on the vinyl portion I didn't add as much of the leopard foil because it's already got the leopard trees and I figured it would blend in too much so I did more of the leopard foil on the black portion and I just continued to move forward, adding a little color here, a little color there, until I was happy with all of the coverage. And then we will move on to the next step.
okay, actually I lied. There isn't really a next step. I just sealed it and gave it two final coats of epoxy and it was all done. It's so simple, but I love the different texture of the grungy foil, just the way it adds and brings it all together with that red vinyl striping and adds that pop of red against all the black, white, and leopard print. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I will be back tomorrow for day nine. As usual, I'll leave all of the information where to find me, all of the products I use down in the description box. This one will be available on my website as well if you want to snag it. And thank you so much for being here. I have appreciated all of your love and support and I will see you tomorrow and I hope you all have a good night. Bye y'all.